I think I learned, uh, as I did and continued teaching, um, that in the last 15, 20, 25 years, we've kind of gradually realized that the entire human body is engaged in the learning process. And as I started to say, yes, obviously I teach theater and work with actors, so the body is an important part of the teaching and the doing. But I think that kind of performative aspect is something that can be incorporated into literally every class across the disciplines. Um, it's not just classes in which one would assume the body would be uh, intimately involved with learning. And given the fact that we store memory and we store a lot of information in, in, in the, the, the musculoskeletal system of the body, I try as much as I can to, to make as many of the activities as performative as possible. Once you get students up and actually doing in a very specific controlled way, um, the end results are phenomenal. And uh, so I think that's a big change in what has happened in the classroom in the last 20, 25 years. That we're starting to admit that students, if we look at them holistically, truly holistically, that students have bodies below the neck and that these bodies need to be engaged as much as possible in the learning process. So that's been a huge change in my own teaching. Um, and I continue to try to develop that and expand on that and perfect that.